Namaste. And welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Mananam Anjali Hay, and today we are going to be reacting to how Trump signs the order banning TikTok. And we're really excited for this because we've been waiting for something to happen in the U.S. because there's been a lot of chit-chat and talking and no doing. So this is very exciting to us. Yeah. Finally, follow suit in Modi G's um, has banned the 49 apps and then banned more apps. Yeah. Um, you know, we've heard the FBI director talk about um, what security breaches have been going on, you know, doing interactions with the Chinese, TikTok being a huge security breach. We've heard it from Trump time and time again. Um, he's also talked about, you know, violating of patents, violation of treaties. You know, we've seen it at the border that they don't follow what they've agreed to yeah. um, time and time and time again. And we've been saying for weeks and weeks on end... To do something. Do something that you've talked about. Right. And and hit them. You don't have to start war. We really... No. You know us if you've been on our channel. Peace is, the, is what we'd rather have. We mm -hmm. really do not want killings. We would rather have you hit them in the wallet, hit them politically. We would like to see like Japan has done, given money to companies to pull out of China. We know stuff like this takes time. We just felt like there was a lot, a lot of talk from Trump, from Pompeo, from the FBI director talking about security breach after security breach after security breach, but we were waiting for something, yeah. like anything that was tangible. And this, we feel like, is the first thing. So I hope this is not the last, um, but this at least is a start. We are so excited about this, so let's start up this video. Meanwhile, another major blow to China's video sharing app TikTok, U.S. President Donald Trump has now signed an executive order banning any U.S. transactions with TikTok's parent company ByteDance. Now, Donald Trump's yeah. order has awesome. even called the yeah. threat from the app as a national emergency. Now, yeah, under this executive order, any U.S. transaction yeah. with ByteDance will be prohibited beginning in begin the next 45 days. Emerging. The order was issued under the International Emergency Economic Powers Act. This grants the administration sweeping powers to bar U.S. firms or citizens from trading or conducting financial transactions with the sanctioned parties. Interestingly, Trump's executive order mentions the action against India, action that India took against the Chinese social media yeah. apps. India was uh, first. India, remember, yeah. was of course the first country yeah. to ban TikTok and WeChat. Major Chinese apps were banned in India, including the likes of TikTok, UC Browser, and many others, due to the rising because tensions and the standoff at the dark with security. China. Exactly. And it looks as if Trump is following the same path. Finally. The yeah. president has said, and I quote, The United States must take some aggressive action against mm -hmm. the owners of TikTok want to, see more. to protect our national security. Now, Donald Trump also mentioned that TikTok's data collection could allow China to track U.S. government employees. He it's said crazy. that the app could gather yeah. personal information for blackmail or to carry out espionage. Well, the order also mentioned the political censorship of content on In the app. States including removal by. of videos mentioning Hong Kong, protests or the Uyghur oh, crackdown. Shocker that they're trying to uh, censor. A parallel order also yeah. bans transactions with WeChat, a popular texting app in China. The orders come as the Trump administration is now stepping up efforts to try and purge the untrusted Chinese apps from U.S. digital networks. However, Trump's ban comes amidst discussions of a potential sale of TikTok to Microsoft. Microsoft has confirmed that they are trying to acquire portions of TikTok based in the United mm -hmm. States, China, Canada and New Zealand. But the discussions still remain very tentative and there's been no concrete development yet. I the TikTok ban in the United States could yeah. be the right. final nail in Why the coffin Microsoft for the video sharing app. TikTok, which has about 800 million active users has now been banned in two of its biggest markets. Like we said, we are excited that this finally, finally went through and that U.S. is finally following suit after India has started. Yeah. Right? Because there's huge security breach involved in this. You know, talking about, not only, like, they talked before about it stealing your information, 
But the way Trump said it, it sounds like blackmail. they're going to blackmail you or use it, like, basically Against to find you, you or yeah. kill you or something like that. And I like that even though you live in the U.S. and you have TikTok on your phone, if you're talking against Hong Kong, my guess is Tibet, uh, Uyghur Muslims, um, what else, Taiwan, what else is on the list? Um, they can find your videos and take them off of TikTok so you can't talk against them. Talk about silencing you in a democratic country where yeah. you're supposed to have freedom of speech. That in itself, I would have taken it off my phone. Like, this is not the Communist Party. We do no. not live in this where the CCP is. We do not have communism here. This is democracy, freedom of speech. Um, this is why we live here. And nothing against the Chinese people that have come here to find a better life, to get away from the CCP and and be here part of this country if your allegiance is here welcome and and stay and fight this fight battle with the rest of us because yeah. we need to i would like to see you know not free trade fair trade fair trade i would like to see them do like taiwan and um i mean Japan, sorry. Yeah, Japan. Japan, and give countries, give the companies money to pull out of China. Give them some money and some incentive to be like, okay, I know it's going to be a process. I know it's going to take time. We might lose some jobs, you know, in the meantime. But in the end, it's going to be better. It's We're gonna not be going to have better. these security breaches. We're not going to have all this stuff that's going on. Blackmailing, apparently. Blackmail, espionage. Oh, my God. All this stuff. Because you're working with a country that doesn't have any, doesn't work like, India, where this is a democracy, doesn't mm -hmm. work like the U.S. as a democracy, doesn't work like Europe. Like, it does whatever it feels like, I does think. Does whatever it and, wants. And, you know, tries to grow its country and put its scrubby hands on everything. That is not how it should be. And from what we've heard about Uyghur Muslims, what we've heard about from the people of Tibet, they're not humanely treating their people well either. No. Um, so... We, we would like to see more action. We hope he signs the Tibet bill. We hope he works on this f not free trade anymore. We'd like some fair trade. Um, we, there's a lot of lists of things we would like to see from Trump. Yeah, we would like to see him ban more apps, but our concern more is buying them. Like Microsoft buying TikTok, is that going to cause a new security issue on top of all the security issues that we already have? Right. Yeah. Is that going to... How are you going to buy it out and not not have that those security breaches? Like, would China still have their hands on it somehow? Yeah. Even if you bought it from them? I don't really know how that all works, but um, we would like to see him ban more apps. We would like to see more action, and this is a start, but we're hoping for more. So yeah. I hope you guys like this. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.